Greetings my friends. So, you want to become an English teacher and get paid to travel the world? <laughs> I'm conducting a course here on how to teach English to people whose first language is not English. If you think this is a dream that people can do this, I can testify that some 25 years ago I thought the same. I decided to take what was then called a TESOL course, T-E-S-O-L, Teacher of English to Speakers of Other Languages. I did not believe that I could fund my travels around the world with it. I did fund my travels around the world with it. It was great. So, if you want to be an English teacher and get paid to travel the world, this is the course that you need. Who is this course not for? That's very important. Who should not take this course? Okay. If you think you can take this course to improve your English level, because you are not an English native English speaker, forget it. That's not what this course is all about. If you are not a native English speaker, or your English level is not an advanced level, forget it. This is not for you. If you have no intention of getting out of your comfort zone and actually moving to where the jobs are, forget it. It's not going to happen. If you do not have a sense of adventure and are not self-reliant, forget it. This will be an absolute nightmare for you. But who is it for? Okay, this is for native English speakers with at least a year 12 graduation. A higher level of education is better because a lot of employers will want to see university degrees. However, there are still a lot of places in the world where it's not necessarily necessary to have an edu a, a university education. It is also for non-native English speakers with an at least an advanced English level. It's also for adventurous people who are prepared to leave home and adapt to a new culture without judging it against your back home values. What's normal in your country may not be in the country where you are going. You have to be prepared to have an open mind. It's also for people who are prepared to help others who may be less fortunate to get a foothold in the real world. And English is most definitely a prerequisite for people to get on in these other countries. So if you don't fit this bill, if it doesn't describe you, don't waste your time or money taking this course. I love your money, but I don't want you to take this course because you'll only abuse me if it's not you. You have to think about this. Contrary to popular belief, you do not need to know the language of your chosen country. Really. You will learn how to communicate with your students without having to resort to their language. I didn't believe this either 25 years ago, but I know it now. Why would you want to take a course with me? Why me? Why not take it with somebody else? All right. I've had 20 plus years in management and administrative positions in ESL, English as a Second Language, colleges and universities in Asia, and eight years as a business English coach to business people in Russia. I was the national TESOL trainer to Vietnamese American training college which had in the end 32 campuses and others in Asia. I'm also a consultant to refugee non-government organizations on curriculum development and delivery of English as a second language to refugees. So I've had a bit of experience. Uh, I have extensive, uh, I have a PhD, I have an MA, a BA, an advanced professional TESOL diploma, excellent references and this course is much less expensive than a full-blown TESOL course. And having this course will get you the job in a lot of places. 
I also have extensive experience in integrating into foreign cultures and as a result I speak a number of foreign languages and can give you the practical advice you need on how to deal with culture shock. We'll talk about that in the course but culture shock is most definitely a real thing. What will be covered in this course? Plenty. There's plenty to learn. Okay. Believe it or not, if you already speak English, you have the greatest qualification that's needed for this. So what will be covered in this course? Where are the jobs? No good wanting to take a course to get a job in a country where you don't want to go. How do I get one of them? <laughs> Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than you think. How will the pay rate equate to locals? Mm -hmm. What will I be expected to teach? Who will I be expected to teach? How do I prepare for a class? Where do I get resources to use in a class? Mm -hmm. And there will also be sections dedicated to specialisations like teaching children, teaching adults, teaching for special purposes, how to develop good lesson plans, where to get first-rate classroom resources, and how to maintain discipline in your classroom. A lot of people are surprised to know that the English teacher in an ESL classroom talks probably and lectures probably no more than 10% of the time of the class. That's all. You'll only be teaching for 10% of the class. The students do all the work. And all you do is supervise and give them feedback. It's that simple. It's a bit of a doddle. So if you're still here, you must be interested. Let's hit the enrol button and get serious about this. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it count. So, see you in China, Korea, Brazil, Japan, or wherever your adventure takes you.